the Champions League, Ballon d'Or, European Golden Shoe, a loving wife, wonderful kids, a life of fame and luxury. You can say that this football player has it all. But despite all this, Cristiano Ronaldo isn't satisfied yet. Without a doubt, he's one of, if not the greatest player of all time. Cristiano Ronaldo has nearly won everything that there is to win in football. Manchester United, Real Madrid, Juventus, he's won titles everywhere. But he's still missing one major title. A title he's been dreaming about since the very start of his career. The World Cup. With the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar this year, everyone's eyes are on that man. Can Cristiano Ronaldo win the title this time? And why has Cristiano struggled this far, despite being regarded as the best of the best? Well, let's take a look at Cristiano Ronaldo's history and his path to the World Cup. This is Cristiano's journey to untapping his potential. Welcome to Untapping Your Potential, where we will share with you motivational stories, motivational figures, comeback stories, and public speaking tips that will keep you growing and inspire you to take action. February 5th, 1985, in Madeira, Portugal. Cristiano was born and has always had a passion for football. Now due to the impoverished lifestyle, Cristiano and his family lived in a very small house. His family had little to nothing. I grew up with nothing. We were very poor. I didn't get toys or presents at Christmas. Money wasn't the only problem. Cristiano worked hard not to let his misfortune get the best of him, turning towards the one thing that gave him strength, football. Cristiano had been playing for Adorinha since he was eight. And by the time he was 14 years old, he decided to concentrate on becoming a professional football player. I'm not a perfectionist, but I like to feel that things are done well. More important than that, I feel an endless need to learn, to improve, to evolve, not only to please the coach and the fans, but also to feel satisfied with myself. It is my conviction that there is no limits to learning and that it can never stop no matter what our age. Cristiano joined the National Club in his hometown in Madeira in 1995. Following his impressive performance for them, he joined the Sporting CP, one of the biggest clubs in Portugal. After graduating from Sporting CP's youth system, he was immediately signed by the English club Manchester United. And their legendary manager, Sir Alex Ferguson, spotted his talent as a winger. He became the first Portuguese player to play for Manchester United when he signed a 15 million pound contract in 2000. In three. Cristiano played for Manchester United for six years. It was there he began to develop his efficiency as a skilled, quick, lethal winger capable of scaring goals and creating unbeatable opportunities for his team. He won numerous titles for Manchester United and even represented Portugal before joining Real Madrid as the world's most expensive player. Cristiano won the FA Cup in his first season at the age of 18 in 2003. He would then come to win three Premier League titles in a row the Champions League, and also the FIFA's Club World Cup. After several individual awards, cementing his position as one of the world's best footballers, in 2007, Cristiano became the first player in England to win all four major PFA and FWA awards, after winning his first Ballon d'Or at the age of 23. Cristiano became the most expensive football player in history in 2009 when he transferred from Manchester United to Real Madrid for a reported 94 million euros. He spent the next 10 years with Real Madrid making history. The footballer has broken some of Real Madrid's most important goal scoring records while also leading the club to winning 15 trophies, including two La Liga titles, two Copa del Rey, and four Champion Leagues, and establishing himself as the world's all time leading scorer. Cristiano is the first top European League player to score 40 goals in two consecutive seasons, the fastest Real Madrid player to reach 100 league goals, and the first player in La Liga history to score against every team in a single season. He holds the Real Madrid's record for most goal scores in a season and most goal scores per minute in La Liga by a Real Madrid player. And he had won back-to-back Ballon de Oros in 2013 and 2014, as well as in 2016 and 2017. And he had finished third three times behind Lionel Messi, his perceived career rival. In 2018, Cristiano agreed to a four-year contract with Juventus in exchange for a 100 million euro transfer. The transfer was the highest ever for a player over the age of 30. In August 2021, Manchester United reached an agreement to re-sign Cristiano Ronaldo from Juventus. He finished the season with 24 goals, 18 of those goals being in the Premier League, 
making him the third highest goal scorer in the league behind Golden Boot winners Mohamed Salah and Song Hong Min, being named in the Premier League Team of the Year and winner of the United Sir Man Busby Player of the Year award. However, Manchester had a disappointing season, finishing 6th overall. Tensions rolled between Cristiano and management, feeling disrespected on both sides. And so just two days into the 2022 World Cup, Ronaldo's contract was terminated with Manchester. Internationally speaking, in 2019, he led Portugal to victory in the inaugural UEFA Nations League and won the Golden Boot at Euro 2020. Now 37 years old, Ronaldo is competing in his fifth FIFA World Cup in 2022. A look back at his World Cup history reveals that he has unfinished business in the competition, one he has yet to win as a player. As crazy as it sounds, Cristiano has yet to win the FIFA World Cup before. He has won an incredible number of team and individual awards throughout his career. Since his debut in the 2006 edition in Germany, the 37-year-old has scored in every edition of the tournament, but has yet to win the game's most prestigious trophy. That would be a dream. I think that would be even better than trophies I've won. I think that would be the highest point of my career, to win a World Cup. Cristiano made his World Cup debut at the age of 21 in 2006 when the tournament was held in Germany. He was at an important part of Luis Felipe Scolari's team, alongside Luis Figo, Simao de Cao and Pauleta. By that time, Cristiano had already firmly established as one of the world's most exciting young players. Having made his mark in the Premier League with Manchester United, and the 2006 World Cup was another step on his path to the top of the game. Cristiano played his sixth game as the country advanced to semifinals, finishing fourth overall. Four years after his World Cup debut in Germany, a 25-year-old Ronaldo arrived in South Africa as the world's most expensive player, a Ballon d'Oro winner, and a Portugal captain. But in the end, the 2010 World Cup was a stark contrast to Ronaldo's first tournament in 2006. With only one goal in four games, an 87th minute strike in a 7-0 win over North Korea, it was arguably the lowest point of Cristiano International's career. The following World Cup in 2014, Portugal qualified via playoff against Sweden, in which Cristiano scored four goals over two legs. Cristiano 29 arrived in Brazil as a reigning Ballon de Ouro winner and Champions League winner with Real Madrid. He was at the top of his game, but it was nowhere near enough to help his nation through to the last 16. Cristiano's fourth World Cup appearance came in Russia 2018. Fortunately, he did not score in Portugal's last group match against Iran. But a 1-1 draw against a side lead by Portuguese coach Carlos Queiroz secured qualification. They were paired against Uruguay in the last 16 after finishing second in Group B behind Spain, and that proved to be their final involvement in Russia as La Celeste won 2-1 in Sochi. Cristiano has stated that the 2022 World Cup in Qatar will be his final international tournament with Portugal and that he is delighted that the tournament will be held there. The Portugal national football team, led by the player himself, will compete in the FIFA World Cup in Qatar for the first time. It will be Portugal's sixth consecutive World Cup appearance, having competed in each edition since 2002. In November 24, Portugal kicked off their campaign against Ghana, winning 3-2. In most recent news, his goal against Ghana for Portugal in Qatar, Cristiano became the first player in history to score in five World Cups. Cristiano's team then faced Uruguay November 28th, winning 2 to nothing, before facing South Korea in their final group match on December 2nd, and ultimately losing 2-1. to one. But don't worry, Portugal won the group and will face Switzerland in the knockout stage. Could Cristiano reclaim his coveted trophy this time? 2022 may be his final chance. And why not make it the best one yet? Talent without working hard is nothing. Cristiano Ronaldo. Thanks for watching this video. How would you like to hear more motivational stories on a consistent basis? Do me a favor and support the channel by sharing, commenting below, and please make sure to like and hit that subscribe button to get the latest updates. Soon you will be on your way to feeling inspired.